Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are on a different account on the dev server. And the reason why we're on the dev server is because there's a brand new game mode. It's called Adventure. It's basically a storylined uh, co-op, or you can play by yourself, mission campaign. And there's a bunch of different things that make up this new game mode. And um, essentially, we have a bunch of different things that we can do and earn. And so this new Adventure mode basically it's on the i think it's called blood rocks which is like the uh the battle royale map but it's different and so then like within the map itself there's three different like well there's different types of missions and they can be grouped into different like you know groupings essentially with like awakening which is like the main special chain of missions it's like the main storyline aspect and then there's group missions which are like uh these events that occur on the map and then Anybody who are in in the zone can take part of it and then there's like off-road side missions and basically each of these missions like everything can be completed for these uh, for reputation points and then special current in-game currency called engraved shells and these engraved shells are then used on unique like well somewhat unique items and uh, you can like manufacture them um, there's an M engineer CNC machine using the workbench engineer CNC machine players will be able to manufacture uh, specific unique weapons and there is the M37 piercer there's the M38 fidget which is like it looks like I actually don't do I I wonder if I have them I might actually have them um, I don't think I do because these are all machine guns I believe and so we've already passed those so I don't think I have them. We've got the, th the piercer, obviously, because that's already in-game. Um, but then we have the ability to make uh, the M30 fidget, which looks like a triple barrel machine gun of some kind. And then a dual barrel thing called the M39 imp. And then there's also uh, decor that you can earn and stickers and stuff like that. And so today we're going to be checking out this new game mode. And I apologize, I still kind of am sick. And so, um, you know, if I'm like, oh, 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 I apologize. But... Um, it's getting better. It's getting a lot better. And so we're going to be checking this out for the first time. I have yet to look into, like, I haven't yet, yet to play it. And so um, you're going to see my first impressions live. Okay, yeah, so they're in here. Oh, okay, cool, cool. So here's the, uh, the M38 fidget. You can see it's like a dual barrel type of thing. And uh, let's see, we got all kinds of things here. Here are the engraved shells, the resource. And uh, it's kind of a dual barrel machine gun. And let's see, there are the stats of it. You guys can check it out for yourself. Let's see, we've got some decor here. There's like the steel mohawk thing. We've got this, uh, we got those. Uh, let's see, where are the, where's the, oh, I can scroll down. Let's see, stabbing weapons is one of the decor. I don't know if that one is. Here's the imp. All right, sweet. Look at this. Oh, it's a quad barrel. That thing looks sweet. So, uh, this innovative step of weapon boasts very high rate of fire and deadly damage used for setting up mobile ambushes to destroy parts of hostile armor vehicles at short range, short range extremely quickly. Now, I don't have faction craft available soon, so I can't even look at this. Um, I would love to be able to like check this out, and you, you can see you actually need some fidgets to be able to craft this. And so, I don't... Uh, yeah, I don't have the, I don't think I have I don't have these. That kind of almost looks like a shotgun in a way, although I know it's not. You know, you know what I mean. Um, let's see. Let me scroll down again, because it is a machine gun, but it's destroy parts of hostile armored vehicles at short range extremely quick. So it's like very short range. So it kind of actions like a act actually functions like a shotgun in a way. Um, each mounted boosts the weapon's damage. Oh, so the more the merrier there. Energy drain three, three for this thing. You gotta have a ton of these. So, um, yeah, so they're all machine guns, and I don't have access to checking them out. And so I'll have to, I can't, I'm not gonna be able to unlock it, but hopefully I'll be able to. Maybe if I like log in next time or something. All right, so we just go to the map here, and it's right here on the map. And uh, so let's see. Survivors, time to embark on an adventure and see blood rocks from a different side. When the wind dies down, there's bustling with a different life, uh, with new rules and new rewards. Walk the shell covered paths to remember the start of your story and cross out. All right, let's hop into this and uh, let us, you know what, hold on a second. Let me, uh, we're going into it. It's okay. I don't have the right 
person in the cab, but we got in different music. Sweet. Nice. It's like Wild West. Oh, sweet. This is a huge addition to the game, guys. It's awesome. Storyline stuff is great. I'm not going to skip this. Why would I skip? Oh, sweet. So he takes in whatever I have. Nice. So this could... No, this is pretty quick. I tried to get something pretty beastly. This is one of the faction vehicles in Steppenwolf, so... I tried to get something that could, like, maybe hold its own for a while. Although, you know, it's not a lot of armor in the front, but whatever. How long, How far away are we? Oh, we're, we're not that far away. Left without memories. Drain, you found the unknown radio signal. Sweet. This video might be pretty long, guys. Bandits. Little, little bandits. No, they're so cute. This is why I took cannons. I'm gonna blast the crab out of them. Well, maybe I should have taken a shotgun build. I better not lose my stuff. Okay, he's dead. Hey, little guy. Yeah, yeah. And you get ammo. Look at those ammo drops there. So it's kind of like, uh, very similar to blood, uh, to blood, to battle royale. So you can pick up new stuff. Oh, sweet. Oh, look at this. Just a second longer and you'll be, dude, this is awesome. It's a literal storyline. Let's get out of here before the Raiders return. Sweet, dude. This is great. What a cool addition. Oh, I didn't let me take the ammo though. Let's ride to the uh, Blade Spines base. There's water and fuel there. Yeah, didn't didn't let me help your savior collect presents. He's just like waiting for me. Didn't let me take that ammo, which is unfortunate. Oh, I'm gonna follow him. I'm coming, dude. Yeah, so this video might be a little longer, guys, because we're going to explore this whole thing. This might be the longest cross-up video that I'll ever make. Ever. But I want to walk through it for you guys so you can see everything. My man, you can go up in there. R to pick a present. Hold it down. You're one of the treated, right? What? Can't remember anything either, right? Of course I'm right, I can see myself. We the blade spines can't stand these those folks. Alright man. Can't stand them. This is kind of a lot of armor in the back for no reason. Maybe there's uh, there might be an Apollo in there. I've never looked at these builds. Okay, next present. I love the music though, guys. Don't fret about the vultures, the strongest always wins, and this means us. Don't know what presents are? Keep driving, I'll tell you along the way. Tell me what they are, man. Munch. Munchy Munch. That's such a great name. Munch. Is he hungry a lot? Alright, third and final present. About to be picked up here. Boom. We save other people. Oh, the blade spines lair. Enter uh, entire village, entire villages sometimes, and to show the devotion and gratitude. You're big. Guy. You you're a big guy. You can run a job or two. Other offer food. Our lair is just a step away from here. Is this like an open world type of thing? If so, that's amazing. We don't want to see something. Oh, I can. Sweet. Okay, sweet. So I can actually go into cinematic mode. Cool. You can only do it on the on the test server. Look at this. That's cool, man. The lair. Oh, look at this guy. Porcupine's boss name. <laughs> the chief blade spine here. Relax, you're gonna. So there's they're still working on this, guys. Just so you know. 
story real intro so yeah there's still at least he said there was going to be some russian text too so we'll see if that comes out challenge completed all right look yeah, it's open world kind of like isn't it i can i can do whatever i want it's been a couple of weeks since you became one of the blade spines wow you get quite a bit of engraved shells today is the day and your first solo assignment this is sweet, man. Connecting servers. I hope I can play everything. It's not like exactly open world, but you get it. You get what I'm saying. To show your skill, collect the present solo. 21. Back up. Nice. One is going to have his real action. Today he's going to collect presents. I should have brought a shotgun build or something. What's this? Abandoned belongings. Scrap metal. Dude, sweet. Guys, this is what I was talking about for so long. I wish this this is how the game was like all the time. Like just an open world atmosphere where you can do all kinds of things and like you can encounter players along the way. And you built up vehicles, you found scrap laying around and stuff. Like, this is what I was hoping for. Oh, now this is not exactly it, but you get it. You know what I mean? But you can spend so much time in here. Look at this. These little tiny dudes. They're patrolling. Ammo. Nice. Oops, I missed one. Nice. Yeah, but, I mean, I don't think... There's no time limit, you know? So you can just stay in here all day if you want to. Which is going to add a whole new element to the game. Oh, I was hoping for a two-in-one right there. Scenes are everywhere, dude. You can take your own time and and uh, you know gather materials and stuff. Where you going, little dude? Oh, <laughs> flipping them all over. Nice. All right, let's go get the presents. I do want to say this: if you play this game mode, I highly recommend bringing something that's fast. Why do I keep? Why does I keep doing that? Something that's fast and maneuverable, like a shotgun build or something like that, nid hogs or whatever. Um, look at it, it keeps doing it. Uh, or even something with missiles, maybe, because then you can... Uh, what's that, I wonder? You can you can kill some of the stuff from a long ways off, and you don't have to worry about even dealing with half of it. But I was thinking just now, if the game was like open world, where you... like the, I like the game, I, I really like the game, and I've, you know... Uh, played it for I don't know two two plus years now and I really enjoy the game uh, and I was just thinking like I feel like this game would be wildly popular if it, if it was open world like this all the time and you have different missions that you can go out and do and you can you can have like let's say three or four factions around the map like a big massive massive map and we're gonna just check this out and see what this is big massive map and you could choose a faction by driving into their base like you just saw right there and then at the base you can go to like a missions board like think like Assassin's Creed and you can pick whatever mission you want to do and then um, picking up cargo interesting side mission so this is a side mission uh, but like this is the type of thing I'm talking about like all like a massive massive map and you can do this type of thing and I would love if you had these different factions and uh, now obviously you have to deal with like spawn camping and stuff but like a way to like or y you just have a zone that like think the division has very high valued loot and it was a PvP zone and so if you go into it you know that you can engage other people and 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 like I mean like think about the game like that think about this game if it was open world like that with these different elements that we've seen from other games and this type of thing was just what you did all the time you can go in with co-op and you guys can do side missions and stuff or you can just join up with anybody who's doing a mission uh, or like, I mean, like literally think of how the division ran things. Think about this. It would be amazing. And the, I feel like the game would be 
like insanely popular if that's what it was because i think most i think people like this type of thing the mad max type of stuff um yeah but anyway apocalyptic you know what i'm saying so oh my gosh what the heck that was awesome but you get what i'm saying guys i just think it would be so cool if that's how the game was like all the time and but it, this right here it does not i mean this is kind of open world because you don't have it there's no time limit on this you can literally just it looks like stay out here as long as you want doing this and so uh this could be a huge thing for the game and could be pretty popular if people get the get wind of it now obviously you still have to grind and stuff which the game i think if it lowered that aspect a little bit too it could be very popular too but i'm curious to know your thoughts on this because so far i'm liking this i just wish i would have brought something in that's a little bit quicker and i and i think i can leave and come back and i'll still be able to do the same things i think they even mentioned that finding the vehicle collecting presence nearby can you hear me you're the only one close by go figure out what's what quick some of stealing the stuff so this is a side mission that we can do there's another one down there it looks like so side missions are marked in blue Here's some more stuff we can get. Scrap metal. I just think that's so cool that you can collect that type of stuff. And I th I thought they mentioned something like Battle Royale where you can pick up different like parts around the map and like mount them to your vehicle or something. I thought maybe that's what it was, but I might be mistaken. I don't see anybody. This is just so cool, man open world this is this is just what i've been dreaming of for so long for this game oh look at him oh he's such a such a awesome dude hit ya oh man just flinging these dudes catch and punish the killer he's very immobilized Got him! Engraved casing 25. Oh, so we just completed the challenge. Get back to the base. We gotta talk. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hop out and see if I can just hop right back in. We're gonna go back, we're gonna need a new a new vehicle, and we're gonna see if we can just do that. So let me just return to the garage and see what's what. Because I think I can do this. So let me go to the faction and just pick a new build, and we'll get something that's a little bit uh, more suited to what we want to do here. All right, so we got a shotgun build. Let's see. I think I can just hop right back into this. Um, I'm going solo, so hopefully I don't have to. Last time we didn't have to wait at all. We just went right in. And I don't think it's based on power score or anything. So hopefully, there we go. Forgot to change the driver again. All right, yeah, we hop right back into it. So, guys. I, I don't know if other people are uh, realizing that this is basically the start of an open world aspect to this game. And that is really awesome. I was looking at some stuff and people talking like storylines and stuff. And I, I mean, that's a cool like selling point, but this is open world. You can stay in it as long as you want and come back and you're going to pick up right where you last left off. Just because you don't, like, this isn't how you start the game doesn't mean that it's not open world. This is open world, in a way. And so, I mean, it's basically open world. And that is freaking awesome. Alright, so this challenge now is Baptism by Fire. After the Rotten Vultures attacked, Caltrop has become obsessed with finding the traitor. His mission uh, missions keep getting tougher. Let's do it. Sweet, man. This is so cool. Guys, I, I'm I'm geek. Normally, I would be like screaming, geeking out how cool this is, but obviously, I can't right now. Story real. Let's just skip it. Inspect the border with Munch. Yeah, let's do it, Munchy boy. I can keep up with you now. Can you keep up with me? Look at him go. There we go. Yesterday, you were whining about having to go today. Forget it, I'm busy. You can go and take the rookie with you. Bro, I think I'm better than you, porcupine man. You seem a little crazy. That, that, make a bone. The K 
killed present? What? Careful with Munch, he's a lot more devious than he looks. Yo, Munch! I gotta wait for him now. This is so lame. Let's go, Munch. Keep up, dude. Why do I gotta wait for him now? Keep up with me. Let's go. Gosh darn it, Munch. You're so slow, Munchy boy. So this thing's got, this is one of the faction builds. Dual shotguns, hammer falls, and a harvester in the front to stop those dudes from coming up on me, which will be nice. Keep up, what am I supposed to do? Shut up, Munch, you keep up with me. The heck, dude, I'm waiting for like big tanks. I'm waiting for big tanks and big cannon builds coming at me here in a second. And I can, but I can like go out and come back with something better. Look at all of them. Yeah, much better. Much better. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be a way faster fight. Having to just grind people down and stuff. Oh, <laughs> so much better. Look at this dude coming at me. Thinking he's all big and bad. I mean, he does have a reaper and a bunch of auto cannons. That's not good. Watch and learn. You watch and learn, cupcake. Need that new cab, man. These things are over overheating so fast. Pfft, this guy. What a noob right here. Driving in the wall. Come on, man. This guy has got a wacky build here. Where's Munch? He's pretty fast, man. At least he's not shooting me. Yeah. Get it. Get me your wheels. This guy's pretty... I was going to say, it's like I'm not doing any damage to him. Is that Glenn? That's Glenn. Did you see that? That was Glenn, yo. He got him. Guys, you gotta leave now? Why well, you gotta leave, Munch? Guys, that was Glenn. Just rewind it and look, that was Glenn from The Walking Dead. Challenge completed. Sweet. So, like, right now, I could go back to base, or we can go do some open world stuff. Let's go, ch let's go see what there is. Let's go check. So, look at how big this map is. Look at it, it's massive. But faction here, faction here, faction on every corner. That would be so cool. What's up, dudes? What's up, boys? It'd be good to take take a build without any ammo, too, you know? So you don't have to worry about ammo. Oh, I cannot maneuver this thing. Can't predict where they're going to go. All right, we don't need to bother with those chumps. Oh, I guess I do if he's going to keep following me. Come here, man. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, let's go check out some other stuff. Can you get off of me, please? Just chill out right there. I'm trying to find some open world stuff to do. They, I wish they were indicated on the map. Uh, Phantom Menace. Oh, do I have to go? I have to go back to base, don't I? Ah, oh, crap. All right, let's go. I thought I, I thought I completed it. Didn't it say that? Yeah. Uh, he sees everyone as a traitor and getting tired of convincing others otherwise. So can I only do? No, that can't be the case. Can't only do the like the side things as I'm doing other things. There's no way. Good. At least I don't have to go with Munch anymore. Find the neutral vultures in the north. But I didn't see anything. As I was driving back, so if I start seeing markers now, then maybe that's the case. Some fun of faction up here. This is so cool, man. 
It's not basically open world. It is open world. I can go anywhere I want. And I can, like, you know, do various missions and stuff. Change of plans. Go to the spot indicated by Munch. Should I trust Munch? Said trust nobody. Missiles incoming. What, from that guy? Whoa. Here we go, right? This guy's... Whoa, where'd these guys come from? Give me your cabs. Dude, he's laying... Is he laying porcupines on me? Where did these guys come from? Just came out of nowhere. There's another one. Die, will ya? I just didn't want to get porcupined. I wonder if I can just drive away. Let's just see. I bet I can. I don't think he's gonna follow me. They probably have a radius that they can go. This is so cool, man. I just like the fact that it's like open world. It's not technically open world. It's pretty much open world, though. I just want to think it's open world. You get what I'm saying. Here's Foxy. What up, Foxy? You got some weird eyes. Nobody cares. I'm just even treated up up close. What do you mean? What is wrong? What do you mean treated? I'm sure we can recover your memories. Oh, here they come. You brought a tail. Well, don't worry about it. No, I'm a traitor. The heck, I'm not a traitor. Oh, defend the water tower. Die, scumbags. So, some elements of other modes in here. I'm sure there'll be like cargo things and everything. Free boss battles. I, I mean, that's kind of cool that they can just add this type of stuff in. Good job, Targum. Good job, Targum, boys. I'm a fan. Even though it doesn't sound like it is because I'm sick. Don't let my sickness influence your thoughts on my thoughts on this video. Get out of here, you little scumbags. Yeah, I bet you weren't. Oh, Munchy boy. Oh, Munch is a traitor. Munch is pretty brave, dude. <laughs> Got two hits. Two hit Munch. Yep, here's the boss battle. Sweet, guys. This is cool. I bent. Oh, crap. I was supposed to defend the thing, right? Can I retry? I did. I didn't. I guess I did realize that I had to do both, but uh, uh, I wasn't really thinking. <laughs> Crap. So when it's connecting the servers here, this is probably connect. You know, connecting to the fact that uh, there are others who could be in the same mission. And that's what's essentially happening. And so it will, I guess it is kind of somewhat like instance based, which is okay. And once you're in the instance and when it's done, I'm sure you can stay in the instance. Trust no one. All right, we got to redo this again. Ah, then you make it so you can drive quickly past that. All right, here we go. So now let's defend the little shrimpy thing against the little things. There's only a couple of them left. Okay, there's one. 
He's coming up here. I'm not gonna deal with him right now. Unless they think those things just keep coming, which they might, honestly. Freaking cap cans. Man, cap cans are so annoying. Don't you die on me, Foxy. Let me get rid of that cap can. It's still good. They're attacking me, actually, so... That's good. Got it. Now you're gonna die. And then after you die, your boss is gonna die. Come here, man. Now you're done, though. And then I think if I kill him, ch uh, challenge completed. So wait. Without much. All right, here we go. Sweet. Come talk to me. We have okay. What? Hunting the hunter. Power score. Says a hundred thousand. One point three. Wait, what? That's one point three million. Yeah, what the heck? Wait, what? Uh, wait, what is... Wait, wait, what? That's as far as I can go? Did that... Wait, did that really say that? That's a... That's That's gotta be an error. Like, maybe 13,000. What the heck, man? Well, uh... Where is Yeah, that's 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 as far as I can go with that. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. That power score is crazy. Maybe it's a cap for what they so you can't do it. It's got to be what it is. Look at how big this map is, man. You can go anywhere. Phantom Menace. I mean, you get, there's so many things you can do. Look at this. What is this? So many places you can go. But these side missions, though. Crap, what the heck is this? Do I'm missing a wheel or something? No, we're, I'm not missing a wheel. Let's go up by where we found those other missions at one time, and I want to see if I can do them. Because I'm really curious to know if they're only there when you're in another instance. That cannot be right. Where was it at? Right up here, right? I wish it would show up on the map, though, so you can see where to go, you know what I mean? Yeah, wasn't it right up here or something? A ways up here, or... What is he, what's he got glowing over there? Hmm... We, I think we definitely went past it. But let's see if we can find any other ones. There's a big city over here. Oh no, it's up here. He's still following me. Get off of me. There he goes. Yeah, it was down here. So they're definitely not there. Yeah, they're not here. Hmm. So I wonder if I can only do it when I'm in the instance or I don't have a mission or something. That can't be the case because that mission's not active right now. It's just showing me that that's the next mission to do or something. What the heck is this place? That seems a little out of sorts. Doesn't it? It's definitely a texture. That they're gonna put in. Whoa, sweet. Look at this place. Very Mad Max ish, dude. That's awesome. Cool. I wanted to just come over here so I can see all this. This is so sweet, man. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super pumped to see what they do with this game mode. Uh, let me know in the comments below. 
your thoughts on it and what you think and what you want to see if you want me to do more of this. Now, I don't know as of right now if I have, if I'm obviously reached some kind of limit on it or something, or maybe I'm bugged out. But does that not look like I can drive up into this? Like this needs to be a faction or something. And I can drive up into this. That is so cool. Longest video I think I've ever made for Cross Out, but well worth it because this is a an amazing step in a in a in a right direction. Because I have wanted an open world environment for so long, and this is like bringing me exactly what I wanted. I just don't know what's up with the missions. I wonder if I go back out and then come back in if it'll be any. Let me try it real fast. I just want to. I want to test things, you know. I just want to show you something. In the amount of time that I played that, I earned 102 casings. That doesn't seem. I I played for 20 minutes basically. 20 minutes, and uh, in order to make, let's see, if I wanted to make. Okay, so imp takes two of those things. Well, that's only 300. That's not. That does not seem bad at all to me. Half of the fidget. Uh, so we need two fidgets to make an imp. That doesn't seem that bad. Now, obviously, I have a lot of other things, but am I wrong about that? Is that not is that not an okay amount? All right, let's go investigate here. Yeah, that's definitely but that's definitely messed up. And it's down there. It's supposed to be no blank. So that that's like right up here where we need to go. And the map is decently sized. I like it. something up here in the corner. I don't know what you are. But I want to find out. There's like a cave over here or something. Oh, can I go in there? Oh, I can't get up there. So sad. Maybe there's a way. I don't know. Something I could pick up there. I just want to kind of do one last look around, guys. Because keep in mind, it's still early on, but maybe we can get some dev feedback or something. Was there a mission here? Hmm. I think it was. They're not popping up now. Something definitely different. Something's off. Who saw this? Who saw this? Hmm. Yeah, so... Do, does that seem like we got past that area really fast? What the heck is this thing? Kind of some kind of vulture thing. Like, there's all these areas that look like they're like a faction headquarters or something. What is this? Just some big ramp? We I believe I can fly. Okay, so yeah, I'm not too sure. Complete assignments, collect loot, or just everyone. Or just shoot everyone. See, off-road. I wonder if it's different if I if I go in with a team. If they'll if the assignments will pop up. Cause I can't find any. And I can't get rid of this. I'm definitely in this mission though. And I think that's what's causing me to not be able to see the other things. And so and I don't think there's a way to like like disregard it or cancel the mission, you know? We've reached the the we've reached the corner. We had to drive around the whole thing just to see Need to be some heavier, heavier, uh, some nomads. Needs to be some, like, heavier, heavier, uh, bosses. Which I'm sure there are. Scrap metal. I'm sure there are other ones. Like, when you do actual missions. These are like little henchmen, basically. Is 
See, this looks like a mission location right here. That doesn't have a texture. Oh, sweet. Look at that up there. Look at these little villages or little housing units up there. There's another water tower over there. That's probably another defend, defend area. Okay, this is a cool area. Here's another. If you've ever wanted to know what they look like up close. Whoa, cool. I always forget how to get back out of it. Oh, the pipe's coming out? That's sweet. Dude, awesome. Well, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Very long video, but uh, I think it was definitely worth checking everything out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on it. I uh, hope you're having a great day. Things are going well. I'll see you guys next time.